Hello people, I'm DKD6 and welcome back to the channel. What the hell is going on today? I was here minding my own business, working on a new intro for the channel because the intro we have right now sucks. So I was working on a new intro, you know, come back to YouTube, you can't carry on with an intro that's like five years old. Anyways, so I'm working on this intro, I go on Twitter and holy hell Microsoft just dumped a load of information on everyone and now Twitter's gone crazy, PS fanboys are crying everywhere, it's like floods of tears, we're gonna have a tsunami of some sort. This is messed up. Okay, so <laughs> what the hell is going on? Microsoft just announced, officially, that the price of the Xbox Series X is $499, that's £449 here in the UK. Uh, they also announced the release date for both consoles. We already knew this from yesterday from the Series S announcement. Um, November the 10th. Pre-orders for both consoles go live on September the 22nd. So that's this month in a few days. And then they went ahead and announced something that nobody was expecting. They announced that EA Play, which used to be known as EA Access, will now be included with Game Pass at no extra cost. What the hell is going on? It's like, it's like, okay, we know that Microsoft is going after Sony because of, well, let's face it, I, I'm an Xbox fan, and even I can admit that Xbox was obliterated by the PS4 when you're talking about sales. But it's like this time, they're not taking any prisoners, man. It's like they got the PS5 and threw it into a coffin. And then when they put the lid on, they hammered a couple of nails into it. And now they've just turned up today and yesterday with a bag full of new nails and a giant freaking mallet. And they're just hammering the shit out of this coffin. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on. My voice is going, it sounds messed up, but I couldn't not make a video about this. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna make a comeback to YouTube. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, here you go content talk about this and now i have no time for oh wow i just punched my desk by mistake i'm just too hyped oh they also announced something else now this is pretty cool so they said that well i've got the uk pricing here the us pricing is slightly similar so you can get an xbox series s for 20 pounds and 99 a month it's a 24 month contract it's interest free and for that 20.99 a month you get the series s and you get Game Pass Ultimate that includes Game Pass for Xbox, Game Pass for PC, Xbox Live, EA Play, and you get all of that for $20.99 a month over 24 months. That's an amazing deal, especially for people nowadays with this whole pandemic going on and everything. People have less disposable income, especially if you've lost your job. So lots of people want to take part in next gen, but they can't because they felt like they would be priced out of next gen. But now, with the Series S and this monthly price plan thing with no interest, it's so affordable. You get a massive catalog of games, backwards compatibility over four generations, the latest hardware, $20.99 a month, and a gigantic catalog of games on Game Pass. Not to mention, you get to play those games on xCloud on your Android device as well. So everything is included in this gigantic Game Pass ecosystem that they're creating and you have the hardware to run it at 1440p at up to 120 hertz. On top of that, they released pricing, well monthly pricing for the Series X. So like I said, the Series X in the UK is £449, £499 in the US, but monthly in the UK is £28.99. And that includes everything that's the same as the Series X. So you get Game Pass Ultimate for Xbox, PC, Android, xCloud, EA Play, everything, including the console, over 24 months with no interest for £28.99 a month. You can't beat that. No one can beat that. No one can beat the amount of hardware and performance you get at that price point today. We don't know what PlayStation's doing yet. They've been quiet for quite a while now. I mean, if you go on Twitter, every single PlayStation post, or I'll say about 90% of them, are people just bitching at Sony, saying, can we have the price? Can we have the release date? Can we have the price? Can we have the release date? And Sony's just silent. I don't know what's going on. It's like Microsoft just turned up, and instead of starting off with, it's like they bought a bazooka to a knife fight. That's what it feels like right now. Obviously, we don't know what's happening on the PlayStation side. 
We know that the console is weaker than the Series X. We know that it's likely not RDNA 2. We know that it doesn't have hardware accelerated ray tracing. Uh, don't quote me on that. But the ray tracing implementation on the PS5 isn't as strong as it is on the Series X. So how do they respond to this? I mean, I know they have brand loyalty, right? PlayStation fans are super loyal. Even in the face of factual evidence or statistics, you know, it's all about the games. And yes, Sony has a strong first party lineup, but no one can deny that Xbox have a strong first party lineup. With all the studios they've been buying, oh, things have got really interesting. Next gen is gonna be super interesting. And I don't even think it's all about hardware sales anymore. Even Microsoft said it's not about hardware sales anymore because when you look at it historically, hardware isn't where the money is. The money is in software. Going back historically, the money is always in software. Console manufacturers generally take a loss on hardware so they can sell more software. Now the argument can be made that with Sony selling X amount more consoles than Microsoft sells Xboxes, they in turn sell more software, and that's true. But think about it, with Game Pass being the way it is and subscription services taking over the world, I mean, you have Spotify, you have Netflix, you have Prime Video, you have all of these streaming services. And now gaming is taking that limelight and you have a subscription service for all of the games that you wanna play for one low monthly cost, it's profitable as hell. And not only is it on Xbox devices, it's on PC and millions of Android devices. So no matter how many consoles PlayStation sells, you're never gonna have the same audience as you do on Game Pass. So I think it's a really interesting time. Oh, and one more thing that just got announced is that Assassin's Creed Valhalla on the Xbox One X is confirmed to be at 4K native at 60 frames per second. Everyone thought it'd be 30 frames per second because come on Ubisoft. Um, but yeah, 4K 60. It's been an amazing day for Xbox gamers and gamers in general. I mean, if you're platform agnostic, then you're happy either way, right? And I think it's gonna be interesting. We need to see what Sony comes back with, but right now, as it stands, Microsoft is just pounding them into the ground. Holy hell. I wanna see what Sony comes back with, but it's not looking positive for them. I have to admit, I just don't know how they can respond to this. Even if they match the price, even if they come in at 449 for the full fat PS5, it's still the weaker hardware for the same price. It just doesn't make sense. And I don't think they can afford to come in at 399 or 350 in the UK. I just don't think, I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think they can stomach that much of a loss. So what do you think? Are you happy about the announcements from Xbox today? I am over the moon. Um, I just can't wait to see what happens next. Thank you so much for watching the video. This is my small comeback to YouTube and I'm gonna stick around. I'm working on a new intro. We have a new Discord, so check out the link for that in the description below. Please like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already. I am DK86.